Hi, welcome to Sports Fix. I'm Ed Adams, and Happy New Year to everybody. It looks like it'll be an interesting 2008 for a legend of English rugby who's announced his retirement from the game. Yet we're saying goodbye to World Cup winner and all-round good bloke Lawrence Delalio, the only hard man of sport who can actually get away with crying during the national anthems before a game. We take a look back now at the career of one of the most influential players rugby has ever seen. He'll be remembered as one of England's greatest rugby warriors. He not so much wore his heart on his sleeve, but all over the shirt he graced 85 times during a 12-year test career that spanned three World Cups and three Lions tours. He played every minute of every game when they were crowned 2003 world champions. It's all about doing some of the English people don't do very well. Pat themselves on the back and say, well done. The teams parade through central London with the Wem Ellis Trophy, marking the undoubted highlight of his career. Well, obviously winning the World Cup was a huge high, for, for not just for me, but for the whole country. And uh, uh, being part of playing with some of the best players that have ever played for England. Um, but probably the, the best rugby experience I ever had was in 1997 with the British and Irish Lions in South Africa. Um, you know, great times and, and great memories. But it hadn't always been so memorable. Delalio lost the England captaincy in 1999, following newspaper allegations that he took and dealt hard drugs. There were claims that he denied, but it all led to a full-blown RFU disciplinary hearing, where Delalio faced a disrepute charge and clocked an 11 grand fine. I have been foolish and naive, and I will always regret the effect that this has had on everyone particularly my family and everyone concerned with the game of rugby football. But he was soon back in the England fold, though, under former head coach Sir Clive Woodward, playing a colossal role up to the World Cup in Australia. He then retired from the Test Arena in 2004, the same week as Woodward quit. But the fires continued to burn and an England comeback remained on the cards. I don't regret coming out of retirement. I retired too early. Anyway, but that, that, was, that was not for rugby reasons. That was for, for, for personal reasons and... Uh, you know, I'm not the first person to do that, probably won't be the last. Despite losing a degree of pace and power that were his hallmarks, he was still a key member of England's 2007 World Cup squad, helping them reach the final. Once that campaign ended, Delalio received considerable criticism for slamming head coach Brian Ashton in his autobiography, but he denied that had anything to do with his decision to step down. I know that many people will uh, will um, will obviously you know look at the. Um, the recent World Cup and the events after the World Cup and, uh, and point to uh, the timing of, of my retirement. But it was always my intention to retire at the end of the, this season from all rugby and therefore uh, it seemed sensible and the appropriate time to retire from, from the international scene. His announcement comes a week before Ashton names a 32-man England squad for the RBS Six Nations. One of those likely to fill his boots is Wasps teammate James Haskell. Nicknamed the medal collector, I mean, I think that, you know, that's uh, a fair, fair assumption. Really. He's won everything and... and you know, when you want to come to the ranks, you want to aspire to do what someone like he's done. The 35-year-old has spent his whole career at Wasps and he'll continue to strut his stuff until the end of the season and plans to be involved with the club for many years to come.